from masked jihadi fighter to traffic policemen on the streets of Mosul. These are the first independently filmed pictures inside Iraq's second biggest city. They show ISIS fighters alongside state employees trying to keep the city's electricity on. Close by, an artillery gun they've looted from government bases. ISIS militants are rebranding themselves, trying to win the trust of Sunni Iraqis in an attempt to show an Islamic mini-state in the making. In front of Mosul's landmark hotel built by Saddam Hussein, children play on the burnt-out hulks of Iraqi police vehicles. ISIS may be trying to present a different image, saying it has growing support among Sunnis, but the UN also accuses them of carrying out summary executions and rapes. I drove to the Iraqi city of Kirkuk, just two hours east of Mosul, where ISIS has been launching attacks against Kurdish forces who have taken it over. People were afraid at the start of the fighting, this man told me, but are happy now the Kurdish forces are here, but we were prepared to defend ourselves against ISIS. Inside the huge K-1 military base, the largest in Kirkuk, I found a scene of utter desolation, where Iraqi troops had fled, even leaving behind their regulation boots and uniforms. They destroyed the expensive military equipment left to them by the US so as not to leave it to ISIS. Everything else was looted. After spending billions establishing Iraq's forces, these will be painful images for the Pentagon and the White House and a reminder that the city was still not safe. With Iraqi military bases up and down the country being left in a similar kind of condition, you have to ask how the central government in Baghdad is ever going to reimpose its authority on whole swathes of this country. Its options are running out and its credibility going up in smoke. Ragi Omar, ITV News, Kirkuk.